Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this celestial look for you and I titled the video Scorpio Queen because in my last video this babe right here said it and I'm like, wait a minute, I just got a celestial dress and that would be so perfect for the next video idea. So thank you my love for giving me this idea. And I actually wore this outfit to a local witch walk that we have here in Orange County. It's in Santa Ana and so many people loved it. So of course I had to make a video on this look and I hope you dolls enjoy it. Before we get into this video, if you are not subscribed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to be notified when I upload videos. And one last thing, I am bringing back Freaky Fridays, not on this channel, but I did start a new channel and it's called Ashley's Freaky Friday. So head over there and subscribe to my channel. Those videos make me so happy. So why am I going to stop something that makes me really happy? Okay, dolls, let's get into this video. Okay, dolls, so to first get started, I'm taking my Miss Curlette Hair Setting Potion, and this is from VintageHairStyling.com, and I'm just going to spray about two little sprays and brush that through, and this is going to help set my hair while I am curling with my curling iron. I'm taking my One Inch Hot Tools Curling Iron that I purchased at Sally Beauty Supply, and then I'm taking these cute vintage hair styling clips that I just had to show you because look at the packaging, it just is so vintage and retro and vintagehairstyling.com has so many items that are like that and i'm actually going to keep the packaging because it is absolutely adorable and i had to show you guys so here are these duckbill clips that are pink and they have some other colors as well but they're just so adorable i had to show you guys and you guys would appreciate the packaging and just the whole styling of it so here I am taking one inch sections of my hair and curling my hair. You guys know the deal. I always do this, <laughs> but I'm just using a one inch curling iron at this time. And I first started the lower section in the back and then I moved on to the sides. And then once I am complete with the side sections, I am then moving on to the back sections like I always say, you can do it however way you wish. You don't have to do it in this exact order, but this is just easier for me to follow. And I'm curling all the way up to the crown and leaving that top portion alone for now because that is going to be my bang section and we're going to curl in a different direction. So my bang section, I like to curl in, um, in the direction that I want my swirl to flow. And once everything's pinned, you should have this. Moving on to makeup. I am taking my Shadow Work Apothecary Aging Serum. And my face has been more dry lately, so I thought I would place this before I put my Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Primer. That um, aging serum I got at that witch walk, so that's where you can find it. Or online as well. And now I'm taking my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and applying that over my face. Guys, I promise I'm going to get concealer. <laughs> I've been avoiding them all just because uh, it's been, you know, the holidays are coming. So everyone's shopping right now. And yeah, I don't like going to the mall when it's busy. So I've been avoiding it. But next time I will have <laughs> concealer. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and applying that all over my face except for my lid space. Now I'm taking my Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones Instant Color Highlights and applying that on my brows just to darken them up and add little fibers on there since I hardly have any hair fibers on my brows. Taking my Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Longwear Pomade in the shade Dark Brown, I'm then starting to shape and draw out my eyebrows. Going in with 
with my Perfusion Cosmetics Mirage Palette. This is the shade Polite, and I'm using the shade as my brow bone highlight. And now I'm going into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette and I'm taking the shade Demure and using that as my base shade. And then going in with that same Huda Beauty palette, I am taking the shade Sandalwood and using that as my transition shade. And in that same Huda Beauty palette, I am taking the shade Suede and applying that in my crease. I'm using a smaller smudge brush because my lids are much smaller, so that works for me. And then I'm going to blend that out and slowly build that color up. Now I'm taking my Carity Pre-Shadow Primer and applying that on my lids. And then in the Huda Beauty palette, I am taking the shade Dubai. And this is a gold shade, but it sort of has like a black tint to it. I don't know how to describe it. And then I'm going to blend those edges out. Going back in with the shade Suede, I'm going to apply that on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the shade Black Truffle and apply that on the outer corner just to deepen it. And then blend out any harsh lines. For the waterline, I'm taking the shade Dubai and applying that. And then I'm taking Lorella Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Bougie. Going in with my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Goldmine, I'm just going to top off that Dubai color with it. Since this is a celestial dress and I just want a lot of sparkles, kinds of, kind of reminds me of stars. Now taking my Marc Jacobs Beauty Highlighter in Black, Black Cure. And then same gold mine glitter liner and applying that only at the inner corner waterline. Now taking my Sweet Street Cosmetics eyeliner in Wing Queen, creating a semi-dramatic wing. And then finishing that off or kind of finishing that off with some mascara. For blush, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan. And then also adding some contour to my forehead. And using my same blush, my Amazonian Clay Tarte Blush. For highlight, I'm using Lorella Cosmetics Bougie. For lips, I'm taking my Kat Von D Beauty Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Homegirl. And my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Exorcism to top that off. 
And then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Color Icon lip gloss in Sagittarius, which was the perfect topper. And using my Spliff Lashes from Beirut's Cosmetics. And then adding some mascara on my lower lash line. So here is the final makeup look. Moving on to hair, I'm going to unpin the lower curls, the first section. And look at these cute rat tail combs. Oh, I had to show you guys just because they're so adorable. I got them same vintagehairstyling.com. And I'm going to tease every section that I pull out, I'm going to tease. Just to give my hair a ton of volume. And I'm going to stop at the crown right here and leave my bang section for now. Once I've teased all that, I'm going to take this comb right here and just smooth everything out. And using my fingers, because I have acrylic nails, I'm just brushing through the curls to fluff them up. And then spraying some Chi hairspray and hitting it with the blow dryer so it sets that hairspray right away without weighing down my hair. And look at these Tintomatic Fashion Hair Color Bobby Pins. These are so freaking perfect because they match with my hair so I don't have to have brown or black bobby pins you know, clashing with my hair. I also got that on vintagehairstyling.com. So cute. So I'm pulling back one side of my hair and I'm going to bobby pin that. And now I am teasing all the top portion of my hair where my bangs are going to be. Once I've teased, I'm taking a soft bristle brush. This one I just got at Target. It's a goodie brush. And I'm going to start molding and combing through the tees and just molding my bang so here i'm using one of my duckbill clips to hold keep up the volume of that bang and then using my fingers and my brush to sort of mold and get the curls to look decent and not all crazy once you get the wave that you like or the curl spray some hairspray to set it and then hit it with the blow dryer Now I'm taking this crown. I got this hair crown such a long time ago at choice.com. I don't even think they have this anymore, but I thought it would be perfect for this look. And then I'm taking my Honeybee Gold earrings. This is um, the Virgin Mary earrings. And I just, I don't know. I just wanted to put them on. I thought they looked cute. Here I'm taking my black tourmaline necklace that I got at the Witch Walk. I don't remember the shop that I got it at, so I'm really sorry, but it, I need to look through my receipts to, to remember. But here is the final hair and makeup look. Moving on to outfit. First, I'm going to show you my heels. These are the Shandy Black Platform heels that I got at Steve Madden. I thought they were perfect and the perfect height for this dress. And now, the beautiful dress that I'm so in love with. This is the Celestial Maxi. And this is from Sedeca.com. And I just had to have it. When I wore it to the witch walk, so many people were stopping me to compliment me on this dress. It's just so beautiful. I love it and pairing it with these heels was perfect because then the dress is the perfect length but it's just black and gold which is really why i wanted to do a black and gold look and yeah this is it i love it you guys here is a closer look so you can see the moon and the stars and it definitely reminds me of astrology and scorpio vibes here is the final look. I hope you dolls enjoyed this celestial get ready with me. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what video you'd like to see next. Thank you dolls so much for your support. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye loves.